Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. I'm Miss Nene and welcome. Thanks so much for being here. Today I am back in my studio and today I decided I want to do a puddle pour painting today. And my theme is going to be mostly blues, different shades of blue and silver on a blue background. So I'm really excited about that. But before I get started, I wanted to thank my brand new subscribers and welcome you. And I also wanted to thank my my older subscribers, the ones that's been here with me from the beginning and who have been around to support my channel since I started this journey last year. I finally, finally hit over a thousand subscribers. I am so happy about that. You just don't even know how hard I've been working to try to get to this point. And I will fully intend to keep moving forward and bringing you more content and doing a whole lot of different things on this channel. So again, if you have any suggestions, if you have any um, thoughts or ideas, just leave me a comment because I love to respond to everyone that leave me messages and give me ideas. I've gotten quite a few of um, ideas from people who just decided to tell me things like, well, you know what, you could do this better, maybe if you do that. And I get a lot of great advice from my followers. So thank you for that. So also, I'm going to be doing Christmas in July videos. I've already did one. I'll leave a link for that in the description for you in case you haven't seen it. Um, I'm really excited about that. I can't even believe that Christmas is so close already. But my next video would be Christmas Globes. I picked this one up from Hobby. No, no, no. Dollar Tree. Last year, I got four. So I'm going to do all four in my next video, which should be released either Monday or Tuesday. That's what I'm shooting for. So, of course, this video that I'm doing right now is gonna be first, and then the other one will follow. So that's what I have planned. I plan on doing a whole lot of resin videos, trying out some brand new molds, and things like that. So, look for that. Now, let's talk about this painting. So I am using um, three different shades of blue in this painting here and silver. I wanted to go for, I wanted to just try different shades and I usually use black or white backgrounds, but I wanted to use or try a, um, a blue background. So I used the phthalo blue by um, Master's Touch as my background for today. And so that's gonna be really pretty, really deep blue color. Phthalo blue was a really nice color. So I'm gonna be using Phthalo blue as my background. I'm also going to be using Arteza silver, Pearl Glacier blue, and Pearl Ocean blue, also all by Arteza. So I'm going to go ahead and get ready, prep this board, and I will be right back. Okay, so I am loving how this is looking. This phthalo blue as a background is something that I don't usually use as a background. I usually just stick to my main colors, a black background or a white background, but um, this phthalo blue looks nice and I think I'm gonna do other paintings, some more paintings with this as a background and try other color combinations. But I would love to do other background colors or different color combinations that I haven't used so if you guys have any suggestions as to what color I should use in, as a background or just as um, a color combination in a painting with any background color, leave me your suggestions in the comments below because I'd love to be able to try something different and I'm pretty much stuck in my ways when it comes to different colors or certain colors, I should say. But if you have any suggestions and colors you'd like to see me try in the next painting, let me know.
Okay, so what I'm doing now is using my little blower. I love this little blower. I always come back in after using my blow, my blow dryer. I like to come in with this and it helps me add more detail. I don't like using straws, although they do, they did come in handy at the time, but I love using this because it gives it, I think, a little bit more definition and I can um, add more detail to my paintings. I will leave a link to this little blower in the description for you. I love this little thing. All right, I am done. I am happy with the colors, the combination, the detail, everything. I love it. This phthalo blue looks beautiful with the silver and the um, pearl glazier blue and the ocean blue. The colors are beautiful and I will definitely be using phthalo blue as a background in future paintings. Also, this wispiness, I am, I, it's just, look at it. It's beautiful. I love that wispiness that it goes into the, the back of the, um, with the phthalo blue in the background. That is made by that little blower. That's why I recommend it. That's why I love it. That's why I always use it. So let me know what you think, how it turned out in the comments below. And don't forget to leave me your suggestions as to what colors you think I should use in my next paintings. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can know what I am up to because I am always up to something. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you. 
I appreciate your time. Stay safe out there and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.